Hey guys, and welcome to another First Impressions video. The video game series in which we take a look at a recently released game, and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Trash Trailers, which is a single player or co-op player sort of survival resource gather game. You basically take a ship, and you have to keep it in working order whilst you go around and collect trash and recycle it and turn it into money to buy new cool and awesome things. It came out on the 16th of December and so far I'm really not enjoying it but I'm not enjoying it because it's more of a co-op game than it is a single player game. I feel that if you were to play this with friends you would enjoy yourself quite a bit. However, as always, we'll go through the settings first and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay and I'll show you all of the cool things that you can do on this uh, this ship game and uh, I'll let you know what's good and what isn't really that amazing. So let's jump into the settings and get this thing started. Okay, so first things first, the controls. Now, it looks like the keyboard controls are fully rebindable, which is fantastic. It does work with both a keyboard and a controller plugged in, but it is a little bit finicky. It's not really been designed for one or the other. It seems like it's been designed for them all together, and as a result, it doesn't really mesh that well. Doesn't create a huge amount of play problem in the game. Once you're in the game, the controller is just easier in my opinion. But when you're in the menus, sometimes using the mouse doesn't really work as it you'd expect for example the back button you you can't click it you have to use your controller to to press back which is a bit of an oversight what is interesting to know is that it has the xbox controller and it's also got the dual sock uh, ps4 controller compatible as well which is really good however big big red mark is that you can't rebind these it's it's 2021 guys nearly 2022 I expect better. If you can make it rebindable for keyboard and mouse, you can make it rebindable for controller. I, plenty of other games have done it. I I want to be able to mess around with my controller more. Let's look at the other settings. Okay, your game settings. I'm not going to lie, a little bit disappointing. Now, this is largely a fairly simple graphic game. However, it would be nice to mess around with some things. I really, really like the art style of this game. Um, it reminds me of old kids' cartoons back in the day. But the art style aside, like there really is no graphic options. You can V-Sync, you can set your resolution, you can have camera shake on if you really, really wanted to. Your volume here and and your language, that's, that, that's your lot. I expect better, a bit below par for my liking and then the last option is your difficulty settings now i really like this you can have it as relaxed or assist or you can have it custom so you can have whatever you want on you can mess around with it and i really really like that um you can have it really easy and have your indestructible raft which if you are playing on your own I would probably quite suggest if you want to just sit around and, and collect things because the AI isn't that smart and you don't really have that much control of your ship. So if you're playing on your own, you just want to chill out, collect some stuff, you know, just play through the levels, maybe an indestructible raft is going to be more for you. But again, I like the fact that you can do all this. I like the fact that you have complete control over how difficult or how easy you want this game to be. If the rest of the options could live up to this fantastic option, I would have been a very, very happy man. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite add up. It doesn't quite live up to the rest of the the options, or the options don't live up to this option, whichever way you want to say it. Um, but overall, difficulty settings, really, really happy with this. Let's jump into the game and see what it's all about. Okay, so we're in the game. Now, the good thing is that there is virtually zero loading times with this. It, it runs really, really quickly. Um, again, I love the art style. I think it's really, really cool. I love the fact that it's like 2D, but not 2D. Yes, pun intended. 
Um, and then you've got these levels, and if you're on story mode and on single, you basically work through these. You've got to get your way through. Once you've got your way through, you move on to the next bit. You've got bonus levels. You've got other levels you can go on, and you can do it with co-op, or you can do it on your own, which is really, really nice. I don't know how active the online scene is, so I don't know if it's got open lobbies or whether it's just invite only. I think it's just invite only. And you can have up to three friends join you. So it's four player cop, which is really, really cool. Now, the awesome thing is that you can go back and you can customize your character at any given time. And customizing your character is completely free. And there is tons of options for it. So you can select which two characters you want when you're on single player that you can basically move around. So you've got your player on the left and then you move around the robot. I don't know if you select a person another person if it's gonna let me it's not gonna let me is it oh there you go i don't know if you select another person it, the person will actually run around on their own so let's find out and then once you're there you can press y and you can change different aspects of the clothing there isn't that many to start with but i'm assuming you can probably go through and buy some with your bolts later on so that's the customization. Then you go across and you've got your workshop. Now, what I will say is that it is very, very expensive to upgrade your raft. For how much you get, bearing in mind I'm on essentially two and a half, right? I'm on level two and a half. I've got a whole whopping hundred bolts because I'm not very good at this game. Who knew? And even if you are very good at the game, the like the comparative amount of grind that you're gonna have to do to get these big upgrades it, it's it's gonna be a lot like obviously fuel tank you know you, you've got mini upgrades into massive ones like the grappling hook looks like it's probably going to be the thing i would probably go for first now obviously if you are making it very easy on yourself and in those last options you make it so your raft is indestructible you're going to be using less resources to repair it which means you'll be able to upgrade the hull and hopefully get better items as you go along then you've got decorations as well now these are considerably cheaper because they're cosmetic but they don't actually do anything they just make the uh make the raft look a bit better it's it's cute i I don't mind this, but again, like, with how long it's taken me to earn this 100, like, screws, bolts, whatever you want to call it, is it worth putting some decorations on my raft, or would it be better off to progress through the story and to save them up? And, I don't know, I, I don't know whether it's just because I'm bad at it, or whether it's because I'm repairing my ship more than what it probably should be, or whether the grind is just genuinely that that steep if it's that steep of a learning curve now the good thing is you seem to be able to replay the level so you can go back to one that you've already done i wouldn't say go back and do one because it's a tutorial and the tutorial's fun for the first time around but it gets a bit draggy after that but you can go back and you can do one that you've not done already or, or do one you've already completed and get your resources now when you're using your controller, it is important to know that you must press the down on the analog till play is highlighted. This actually took me a long time to figure out because I'm ill, in case you hadn't guessed, and a bit tired. So I end up just using my mouse. But again, there are some things where the mouse won't work with. There is no back button on the mouse, unfortunately. Um, so if you do use your mouse, you can only use it to select, but neither hidden there so once you've got your people together you hit play there you go and it'll load in and this is the game and it looks like i can't do anything with my mate there you go cool so what you do is you start up the engine and you go through now you can steer by literally steering you can also jump on the sides of the raft to help steer it in different directions but ideally what you're going to want to do because the AI isn't that great is that you are going to be looking for um trash that's on the 
bottom here, right? And this constantly changes. And once you get these different items, then you can do better. Now, for some reason, my matey boy isn't moving. And there is a button that I can press in order to make him be the one. But it's coming up with a weird tutorial. I don't know why. I, I'm clearly doing something a bit different than what I was doing before. But yeah, so you go on the end, you catch your the item that it's asking you for, you put it in, and lo and behold, you have done some good stuff. If your raft takes damage, you can repair it, but that will use resources, and obviously if you're using resources, then what will happen is you're going to end up earning less money. I would say that so far the robot is a better companion than this dude who's just sat here not doing anything and I don't know if that's because I've not switched between it or if I've done something wrong. The game doesn't do a very good job of explaining stuff. Like the tutorial, the basic tutorial of how it works is fine, but it doesn't really go into the intricacies of the the actual game as, it's, as it stands. Uh, I'm going to have to put that in there for fuel on it. There you go. Right. And then steer away. And the idea is that you basically swim through the area. And you have to, like I say, collect the loot that's on the bottom of the screen. And if you collect, if you collide with stuff, you take damage. And then once you've made it through the area, you collect what you've won at the end. Again, I think the only reason why I'm not really enjoying this as much as what I probably would think that I would normally is purely and simply because I'm not playing with any friends. I feel this game with a few drinks and, you know, a bit of, a bit of madness and a bit of chaos and all on Discord or whatever, this game would be incredibly fun. On your own, it's more frustrating and micromanagement than I would typically like right i'm probably going to lose my my raft here because i keep hitting into things because mate boy's not moving and i don't know why mate boy's not moving so yeah all in all very good game i would advise if you're going to play it on your own to play it with the robot because that seems to be at least somewhat competent at doing what it what you're supposed to do um but outside of that, play it with friends. Get a few drinks together, play with friends. I can see this being a great streamer game to play with a few friends. I can see it getting very chaotic and lots of things trying to collect. And obviously, the more people you've got collecting junk, the more money and bolts you're going to earn. You're going to be able to really go crazy with the raft. So, yeah. There you are, guys. Enjoy this video. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. This is the first video back after Christmas. And uh, let me know in those comments down below what you think of this. I really like it. I just would like it more with friends. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.